What up boys and girls, welcome to Christmas Eve Eve in Michigan. This is highly unlikely, but we're like 52 degrees. And uh, we kind of got the bike kind of winterized. We basically just put a thing of stable in the gas tank, called it good. Hey guys, this is the day after I just filmed this video. And look at this weather. It looks like I got out on the bike just in time. Now back to the time machine to take you back to the past. So yeah, we decided to get the bike out. We took the seat off and uh, charged the battery up and wanted to go for a ride. First place we're gonna go is we're gonna go bother Kim for a second because I know he's working. Then he's seen the weather and he's kind of upset. This will probably be the last ride of the year. Looks like it's going to snow and it'll be a little cooler like in the 30s and that's not great wide riding weather and these tires aren't studded. And that's just not my thing. Another thing we're testing out is the Milwaukee heated jacket. And I kind of wanted to try that for later on in the season or beginning of the season. Because my other coat was just too bulky or it just didn't feel right on a motorcycle this coat's actually more fitted comfortable but it takes one of the, I think it's the m12 battery pack so you can go right from tools to uh, heat up your coat and so far it works pretty good but this is the first test on a bike I don't feel anything like air wise soaking through at all so that's good so that means I'll probably start to get warm usually I get a little draft down like the neck of my shirt and we're pretty good on that because it's a little tighter oh man it looks like and Kim got out of work so he's not there I wonder if he was playing sick to get out of it Maybe we'll jump on the expressway and see how well this coat works. Battery's supposed to last eight hours, but I can tell you that's not correct. It might last eight hours when it's on low. It's got three settings, you know, high, medium, low. And it doesn't last eight hours, but uh, yeah, we'll try the low setting and maybe later on. But right now we got it on high. I know that'll last through our trip without a problem. Also has heated hand grips, or not hand grips, but uh, heated pockets for your hands. I also kind of like that if you ever uh, have a low phone, even though my, my phone charges on my motorcycle, that battery pack will also charge your phone because it has a USB port on it. Get some of that speed out of our system. Sitting around driving a dot of dart all day just doesn't cut it in the wife's minivan. It's good to get on the expressway, open it up a little bit. Yeah, I'm not uh, getting like no air draft to this coat at all. It's comfortable, it's easy to move. You know, it doesn't replace leathers at all, just to make that clear. But yeah, it's 
for a winter coat. Just doing the job for this, I'm sure being waterproof helps it out. Yeah, I can't go for too big of a ride today. We got a family Christmas. Well, part of the family Christmas. going for a little ride around town. I just wanted to test this coat out and I haven't done a motor vlog in a while. We still haven't got our president figured out yet looks like and the Rona is still going crazy. Only thing different, I've been practicing the arm wrestling a little more, more training than actual table time. I need to get some table time. I've been going to the gym twice a week, sometimes three, depends. So this bike actually feels feels a little smaller than what it used to because I'm taking up more space. the time on my bike it's not 10 25 it's more like four o'clock ish which sucks because I wanted to get out riding today because it's like dark at like 5 30 you know not like in summertime when it gets dark at like nine I'm not a big fan of uh wearing gloves on a bike makes my hands a little more tired but I don't know I feel like I like grabbing the handle grips with my skin I like raw dog in it and I can feel the the warmth running through the coat I'm like not cold at all if anything I'm getting slightly warm in the chest area there seems to be quite a bit of uh, the wires in there, or whatever you want to call them, the coils that keep you warm. It's pretty much like an electric blanket coils. If anything, it's my fingers that are getting cold, that's usually the first to get cold. I still got plenty of insulation in the middle. Anything, this will just help the stable run through the gas tank. Still a lot of buildup in this motor, I can tell, giving it some gas and it sputters a little bit. Come on, kids. Yeah, my throttle hands get a little tired from wearing these gloves. Must be because I got fat old man fingers and cutting off the circulation or something. Yeah, if anything, I might have to turn the coat down a little bit. It's got uh, another two settings, but... We'll leave it here for now just to see how it works. Yeah, since it's been kind of cold, all I basically could be doing is working out, hanging out with the fam, learning some more 3D design, the 3D printing some random crap I don't really need, but hey, you know, it uh, helps me waste time. Also, been keeping that Xbox warm, just picked up Cyberpunk 2077. With all them great glitches that it has. Playing a little Assassin's Creed. Valhalla. 
That's a pretty good game. Just waiting for Far Cry 6 in February. Other than that, that's about all I've been doing. Always thought about bringing the Busa in the house, you know, because if you're cold, they're cold, so you can't have that. And I noticed that we still don't have enough views on a few motor vlogs back where I was doing a giveaway for a gift card. It's still available. I'm not going to give the details, so I guess you'll have to find our giveaway motor vlog. Yep, we haven't had really any issues at all with the Busa in the whole 2020. The Busa didn't get Rona. Busa didn't die for unknown causes. The only time it didn't run was uh, that one time I didn't charge a battery because it sat too long. So we took care of that issue today again because we were going to have that problem. I'll tell you what, kids, this jacket's where it's at. Because I can tell I would be freezing otherwise because uh, the rest of my body is behind my bike with the bigger fairings and everything. And the only thing really cold, like I said, is my hands. And that's probably because they're a little bit numb. Yep, everything's good on this coat. I think it would probably be warm enough with the heat off. Yep, looks like it's a little bit after four. So I gotta be getting back. So I guess you guys, this might be the last one of vlog of the year. I'll probably try to sneak one in there, you know, maybe if it's cold and I'm feeling a little ballsy. I might put the coat on extra hot. Hopefully there's no snow on the ground and uh, we'll go for another ride. So if there's anything you'd like to see on Hit the Gas, leave some comments below, share it with your friends, subscribe, like it, dislike it, do something with it. I'm Chris from Hit the Gas, we'll see you guys next time.